Hi, this is Millie Kay. I'm down at the Feather River, about 30 miles downstream from Oroville. It's Friday, April 28th, 2017. It's about 8.30 in the morning, USA Pacific time. And what you're seeing is what it looks like for 43,000 cubic feet per second to be coming down the river from Oroville. I did a previous video on April 21st, about a week ago, when the releases were at 35,000 cubic feet per second, and that rock right in front of us was totally on dry ground. So it looks like it's come up about another foot, and that's because now they're releasing about 43,000 cubic feet per second. So they added another 8,000 to the releases. That's because they're running the Hyatt power plant now. Last week they didn't have the power plant running, so we got 35,000 cubic feet per second that's coming down the impaired spillway. It's about 50 degrees here. Expecting about 75 degree high today. A little bit windy. Looks like we're going to have warm weather for the next 10 days or so with temperatures rising up to to the 80s and climbing maybe up to 90. If you can see a, that little sandbar there. Last time I was here between the rock and the sandbar you could see the continuous uh, sand. So it looks to me about maybe between one and two feet of water due to the 8,000 additional cubic feet per second. And that tree has now got more water up on its trunk. You can see some of the sludge is coming to the edge a little more. If you haven't seen my videos before and kept track of the changes, you can see that the actual river bank is a little bit beyond that sandbar where the log is sticking up. And that's downstream. The water is heading toward Sacramento. The flood stage here is 80 feet and right now it's running between 55 and 56 feet. Uh, deep flood watch stage is 65 feet so we're in good shape as far as that goes but it is out of its banks well, let me pan around and show you upstream a little bit straight across is where the Yuba River flows into here Show you upstream. Oroville is about 30 miles that way. Got some wildlife around here today. And as you can see, where I usually am walking on dry sand, when the river's in its banks, this little trail here, uh, the water just rises a little bit more. So you can imagine, especially if you've seen my other videos when they were releasing at higher amounts, the water just eventually creeps up. Of course, when they were releasing 100,000 cubic feet per second, it was up on the, the green part of the levee. I don't know what that bird is over there, but I'm going to get a little closer. It's kind of interesting. Pretty windy. Hope it doesn't keep you from hearing me. It looks like a crane.
that's what it looks like today downstream. See you later.